Hey everyone, Genome here, coming to the next episode in my pseudo cooking series. Well, today it's another cold and breezy day here in West Virginia, so what goes better with that than warm pasta, I guess? <laughs> um, today's is kind of a hodgepodge creation that I just want to try. It's not a recipe or anything, I'm just kind of throwing things together in my mind and we'll see if they turn out alright. So, um, this next one's going to be another low cost uh, crockpot meal, and it's going to consist of basically everything you need to make. You know, like pasta, spaghetti, you know, classic um, suburbia eye tie, if you will. So, um, I'll go over real quick uh, exactly what I'm going to use and then maybe some quick how to, but it's not going to be really much to it. Uh, this whole meal is probably going to cost 10 bucks, maybe, maybe even a little less if you already have this, some of the stuff. So, uh, let's just get into it. So, today I'm going to be using just a tiny bit of olive oil. Uh, this is just for you know, the, basically for the water, and I'm going to put a little bit in the crock pot. I like to cover the inside of the crock pot a little bit coating, because some of this is going to be kind of sticky because of the cheese. We'll get to that. Uh, of course, uh, Italian seasoning. Who could go wrong with that, right? Grated Parmesan. And we need now some white bread with butter all over it. That's how we used to make Italian bread growing up. Breadcrumbs. This is going to be the glue that holds this thing together. <laughs> Only the finest homemade ragu uh, spaghetti sauce. You can get the meat, garlic, whatever kind. I'm old fashioned, just give me the regular old plain one. Uh, I actually going to use probably two jars of that, so it could cost a little bit more. Uh, maybe a jar and a half, we'll see. Three boxes of badilla uh, penne. So, this is going to be my multiple layers inside said crock pot. And the actual glue to hold everything together, two bags of mozzarella cheese. Basically every ingredient I got here can be had at Dollar General. So you don't have to make even a shop to or a stop at the big grocery store in order to get this done. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to blanch some pasta. I'm going to make it kind of a dente, not quite cook it fully, but since there won't be a lot of moisture in here, I'm going to make sure that it gets nice and tender by the time I get out. So stay tuned as one, two, three, I put three, one, two, three. All right, so I've come to the crucial part in the most technical aspect of this entire endeavor, and that is boiling the water. So got it set on a little bit high so as to actually move this thing along. So of course we add just a pinch of salt, raise that boiling point just a little bit, and uh, throw a little olive oil in there for its anti-clinging properties. Now you can use either virgin or extra virgin. It's up to you. Make that call. Um, so now we're just going to wait and we're going to add, I'll probably start with two boxes. I don't know if I need three. Just depends how much uh, leftovers you want. So this is going to be a meal that you can eat on for several days. Um, if you're just cooking for yourself or if you're cooking for a really big family, I guess one night and maybe more day of leftovers. I know the favorite part of like spaghetti dinners and stuff when I was growing up was the leftovers the next day. It always tastes so good, right? Something about the, uh, the cold environment of the fridge just makes pasta sauce so delicious the next day so all right so I'm not gonna subject you to watching this boil but once uh, we come back I'll show you the finished product we'll strain it out and then we'll start adding layers into uh, sister crock pot all right all right so uh, got done basically parboiling the uh, the pasta it's a little more than a dente I should cook a little longer I meant to but I was doing something else so like I said before I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil just just the thinnest of coats on the bottom and sides of the crock pot. This is just the ease of cleanup because <laughs> this stuff tends to stick, especially when we be using a lot of cheese and stuff. So this sometimes aids a little bit in the uh, cleanup of a crock pot and it can be quite messy sometimes. So let's use a little piece of paper towel. You can use a spatula too, but it tends to stick. Okay. All right, done. So let's go ahead and add. Uh, I'm going to put a tiniest bit of sauce on the bottom as well. Um, not too much though, because I think it would um, negatively impact the cohesion. But we want some 
little bit of moisture in the bottom too. Let's put some more in there. So it doesn't get too hard and crusty if uh, pasta touches, you know. You could probably put quite a bit down there if you really wanted to. But like I said, I don't wanna take away from the bottom possibly being able to hold <laughs> food somewhat. So, all right, so let's put and put some pasta, a layer of pasta in there. I probably have two layers in this. I gotta grab this from over here. I have uh, drained, cooked and drained pasta. So let's go ahead and put a good sized layer down here at the bottom. I want to make in two boxes. I don't think I'm going to need three, in all honesty. Okay. And I got a little bit more that I couldn't. Let's put a little more in here. I couldn't fit it all in the colander. All right, let's show you a really, really ample first layer, as you can see. Okay, next I'm gonna put a layer of cheese down. I think cheese is gonna be the cohesive like glue that holds this whole Frankenstein creature together. Let's put a layer of cheese in there, shall we? Like I said, I'm just winging this. I got some ideas in my head when I was out shopping last time and well, you know how ideas are. All right, let's put an ample layer, there we go. Get all the little nooks and crannies. Don't forget this edge. Okay. Now, to this, we will add quite a bit of Parmesan cheese. Okay. And throw some breadcrumbs on there. You can never have enough things, right? All right, and finally, what seems kind of important is I'm gonna go add some sauce now. Go empty this out. Oh, that's an excellent layer right there. You could always put a little water in there, shake it around and get the last little remnants out. I don't think it's gonna be that important and I'd rather keep it really thick for this recipe though. And I got another jar, so. Oops, I forgot to add my Italian seasoning to the under layer, but that's all right. Okay. Now, we will add some more cheese. To make kind of a base layer, I'd say. This is gonna be pretty cheesy, I'd say. Like I said, we're big fans of cheese in this house. Even fairly pedestrian ones like mozzarella. We got a cheese clump down here. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be ooey gooey goodness, isn't it? So, all right, let's put the next batch of uh, noodles on top of that. It looks like two packages was definitely plenty. This is gonna fill that big crock pot up. And still, I don't have enough room for everything. And yeah, use it all. <laughs> this is gonna go right to the brim. <laughs> Sometimes I cook enough to feed my old unit in the army. And I wasn't even a cook. All right, so the procedure remains the same. Last time, throw some cheese on top of this baby. I'll have to keep this one a little bit low. Luckily, the top is pretty concave. Oops. Oops, got a little overzealous there. 
making a mess of my kitchen, like every good cook should. All right, let's put a little uh, Italian seasoning on there, just so you can see it on the camera. Accented as it is, by the way. More Parmesan. Oh, this is gonna be good, I feel it. Some breadcrumbs. Up, try things out just a little bit and we'll do some sauce good thing at ragu original is it pours easily get a nice little coating here And of course, for decoration, we'll put some more Parmesan on there. This is gonna be huge. <laughs> it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. The more Italian seasonings. And what the heck, a little more cheese, right? Now, I'm not sure how long we're gonna cook this for. I'm gonna put it on low for probably about three hours, and that should be plenty. It's almost like a seriously deep dish pizza, right? <laughs> probably enough cheese, so. All right, there you go. So, Two packages of uh, barilla penne pasta at a buck each. So one and a half to two containers of the traditional ragu sauce, probably 253 bucks a piece. So what, eight bucks there. If you already have Parmesan cheese sitting around, nothing, but if you already, if you had to go buy some, it's like two bucks for a container of it. You know, dollar for some breadcrumbs. Cheese, I think was two for, four dollars so yeah like at most 14 15 dollars and you're ready to roll so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on low uh for like i said about three hours i think and then we'll come back and see how it turns out all right i'm expecting good things see you in a few hey all right so uh, a couple hours have passed now on the low setting here in the crock pot so it's time for us to uh, broach the seal and see how this turned out i'm betting it's going to be amazing all right, so here we go. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit. On my B-roll camera. Oh, would you look at that. Let's just get a close-up of that. Yeah, it's a bubbling cauldron of goodness. So let's get this set back up. And this time, we're actually going to put it on a plate and I'm gonna try a bite of it so you can see how it turned out. I might have to just scoop this out with a spoon. Actually, I could probably almost cut it it's freaking thick. I'm stand up for this. This is about as simplistic as it gets when it comes to food. Let's get a little more topping on there. Oh, it's gooey and cheesy. So look at that. Let's get you an up close and personal. Look at this plate of amazingness. And really pictures can't 
do it justice to the uh, the texture in there from the uh, bread breadcrumbs and vice versa so let's go ahead and try us a quick bite and see if the project was worthy of both sorry and song I get mmm that's good the breadcrumbs really add something to it mmm I'm gonna tear this up. So yeah, that was a winner. So once again, about a $12, $14 meal. Simple, you know, two boxes of ziti. You're gonna need a big crock pot to do that much. Two boxes of ziti noodles, a couple of containers of, you know, spaghetti sauce of your choice, you know, a few assorted herbs and spices, some uh, breadcrumbs, of course. I think it really adds something to it and a whole lot of mozzarella cheese and voila, you too can make a meal. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how big this is, but this is going to feed someone for a week, basically a family. So you might want to lower it depending on your needs because, you know, that one was left over for six days straight. But anyway, I think it was a winner. So yeah, easy as can be. Um, maybe 30 minutes prep total. That's just that includes cooking the pasta ahead of time, kind of a dente. So, all right. So there it is. Anyway, thanks for watching as I continue on with my cooking journey and uh, sharing it all with you. So until next time, this is Genome. One need a little bit more of his crazy concoction. Out.